This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer. The one, the only ape father up all night. Wow! I actually slept for about three or four hours. Just kind of woke up, you know, I was having a dream, you know. <laughs> I'm like, I want the Moaz, I want the Moaz. I want both Moazes. I want AMC and GameStop. But let me tell you how I feel, all right? There's two expressions I want to share with you, okay? One is, if something is not broke, don't fix it, okay? And the second expression I want to share with you is the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. All right, so let's talk about those two expressions. Okay, let's first talk about if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Okay, so the thing is, you can't deny the fact, right? No one can deny the fact that GameStop has lasting power. Now, let me explain to you what that means. It means that there's a future. It means that even if you were buying this thing for simply for the fundamentals, the future is bright, okay? It's proven itself time and time again to be a winner. Everything about it, Ryan Cohen, partnerships, okay? Going into the NFT markets, going into the future, constantly, constantly just, just doing something each and every day that's amazing. The problem is now, we've been doing the same things with AMC, okay? For since what? In some cases, January of 2021, I came in June. We've been doing it, buying, holding, buying, holding, buying, holding, buying, holding. AMC's $23 a share, right? Okay. So the thing is, the definition of insanity is to keep doing the same things and expecting a different result. So if we just keep doing the same things that we've been doing, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to be the same thing. It's going to be the same results. Ken Griffin has an unlimited amount of fake synthetic shares, promissory notes, that he will continue to ladder attack us. He will continue to drive this stock down no matter what we do. Because AMC is a mark. AMC is a target because everything about it right now, you understand, smells opportunity for Ken Griffin. And, I, and let me explain to you what I mean, okay? AMC is in debt, okay? You know, AMC management is terrible, okay? AMC doesn't have a catalyst. It's in a situation where it's not going into the future, Okay, so all of this is something that the hedge funds look for in order to drive down to the oblivion. Now, that's not the case with GameStop. Okay, now what I'm trying to make you understand is that GameStop has a catalyst. It has Ryan Cohen. It has future, in other words, potential besides even a short squeeze. I mean, GameStop is always going to be there. AMC, on the other hand, will it always be there? Movie theaters, unfortunately, are just outdated. It's not part of the future. So what, what I'm trying to make all of you understand is it's time now to think outside the box. Okay, but you see, I, I, I fear that you're not going to do that. I fear that you're going to continue to do the same things, but then expect a different result. Okay, why don't you just try something different? You've been doing the same things for over a year. Right? Since January of 2021, you've been buying AMC and holding AMC. Buying AMC and holding. Right? Did shorts cover like Phil, Phil Farrell says? No. Okay, but the thing is, how long are you willing to do that for? Let's say AMC doesn't squeeze in another couple of months. You still going to do it? Buy and hold? Say it doesn't squeeze in a year. Say it doesn't squeeze in two years. Say it does a squeeze in three years. So the thing I'm trying to make you understand is that you've been doing this for a very long time. It's not working. Okay? So what you sometimes have to do is a different approach to try to make AMC squeeze. Okay? Now, Ken Griffin cannot control catalysts. He can't control it. 
GameStop has catalysts. GameStop has good fundamentals. These are all things Ken Griffin can't stop. Don't you understand I want all of us to make money? I want all of us to squeeze. Okay, so it's my opinion that if we fight Ken Griffin on a battlefield that he can't win, we're going to win. But you want to continue to fight him on a battlefield where he's going to win. Do you see what I'm trying to say? Okay, why don't we try to fight him on a battlefield that he can't, he can't beat us? It's very simple. Every AMC ape held their, their AMC, held it, not tell, never sell it, held their AMC, but started to accumulate GameStop. But in other words, they did not sell their AMC. I want to be perfectly clear. They did not sell their AMC positions. They held it, but just focused on accumulating GameStop. This is something now that Ken Griffin is not prepared for. This is something the short sellers are not prepared for. Then what's going to happen is you're going to drive AMC, uh, excuse me, you're going to drive GameStop higher. GameStop's going to go up very quickly. Now what's going to happen is AMC now is going to take a piggyback ride on GameStop. I'm telling you this, and it's going to cause two Moazes. But you see, the problem is that I fear that apes are just going to keep doing the same thing. But if you keep doing the same thing, you know, expect the corruption, expect the manipulation, expect Gary Gensler to not do his job. None of it is going to change. Expect Ken Griffin to continue to use fake shares, synthetics to drive AMC down. Just don't, so, so stop getting angry, stop getting pissed off, expect the same results. But why don't you try something different? What do you got to lose? What do you got to lose? Is it so bad to hold your AMC, but just you know, accumulate GameStop too? Is it so bad? Because don't you understand you're going to catch him off guard? It's like, it's like imagine if you're a righty and you're a boxer, but then all of a sudden you switch to Southpaw, the left side. You're catching your opponent off guard. That's what I want to do. I want to catch Ken Griffin off guard. I want to do something he's not, he's not expecting. And then what's going to happen is when GameStop goes on fire and takes off, it's going to be like a rocket ship, but it's going to be connected to another rocket ship. And AMC is going to follow GameStop. This is the way it's always been. GameStop goes up, AMC follows. Have you been, haven't you not been noticing that? Okay, so what do you think is going to happen if you hold your AMC and you start accumulating GameStop? It's going to be, right? You don't have to be Albert Einstein. You don't have to be Sigmund Freud. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. That's going to cause AMC to follow. And that's going to cause AMC to Moaz. I'm telling you, but I'm not a financial advisor. I don't give financial advice. You have to do what's best for you. But all I can tell you is this. Doing the same things over and over again and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. That's it. That's, that's all I can say to you. That's it. Try something different. Have an open mind. Don't be hard-headed like a Sicilian like me, right? Have an open mind. You might just be pleasantly surprised. Trying something different might get you exactly what you want. But again, I'm not a financial planner. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer. Eight follow out.